Hey guys, this is Johanna from Magic Bookshelf, and um, this really, really, sorry, this video is uh, my uh, May wrap up video, and right now uh, is May thirty first, which means that I just finished my exams. My final exam was two hours ago, and I am so happy. Uh, it means summer is officially here, and I can relax. I've been up since five in the morning, so that's more like so. So that's more than. 16 hours awake and I am so unbelievably tired but anyways I had to film this I read only nine books this month I mean this is pretty good well, if you take if you take into consideration all my exams and tests and projects due and staying up so late trying to work and all that but anyways um so because I don't have my iPad I don't have the pictures so I'm just gonna put them here and edit them so but I'll do my physical books first and well, the first physical book I read was Insurgent by Ron Karoth. And uh, it was really good. Um, it's just the thing is that when I read it, like when I was reading it, I was like, oh my God, oh my God, like I'm finally reading Insurgent. I've been waiting for years, nah, months. I've been waiting for months for this. And I read it and I read it and a lot of, some parts annoyed me like Tris a lot. Tris annoyed me, her always keeping secrets from four and stuff. But uh, when I finished, I was like, oh my God, it's amazing, all time favorite. And then... A week later, I still don't write my review because I haven't been writing reviews for the past two weeks. And then um, a, month, uh, a week later, I'm like, what the hell happened in Insurgent? Because I don't remember anything. So not really an all-time favorite. I think it's going to drop down to four and a half. But it was still good. I mean, taking into consideration all my unbelievable expectations, I think it was good. Another book that I read, finally, is Pandemonium by Lauren Oliver. And this book was really good. The beginning was a bit hard to get into because it was a bit confusing. But Lauren like explains it in like 20, 25 pages. And then after that, it was really, really good. My only problem, kind of, like, I took half a, half a star for, is the um, the ending was kind of, it was predictable. I knew what was going to happen in the end. And also I knew the whole thing with her mom, like the situation. I don't want to ruin it for anyone. But yeah, it was. Um, I just knew it straight away. But other than that, it was pretty good. So uh, another book that I read was um, Sweet Evil by Wendy Higgins. Uh, this book is about uh, angels, demons, blah, blah, typical. I'm just so over paranormal books that are either about vampires or angels and demons. But this book specifically was just, uh, I couldn't get into it. I had to finish it though. It was long and the protagonist was just so annoying. Annoying, annoying, good at two shoes. Uh, another book that I read is Purity by Jackson Pierce, and um, I was actually very excited, not excited, but I was like really curious about this book because of the topic about it, and for the most part, eh, it was okay, it was like, eh, I gave it three stars, but I had some problems with it, and it was the ending, very rushed, also a girl realizing she's in love with her, like, friend or whatever it was it was so obvious and I'm, I hate I hate I hate books where the protagonist realizes that she's in love with her friend in the last 20 pages of the book I mean what okay moving on uh, next book that I read is Faking 19 by Alison Noel this book came out like two years ago but I got it for review and it was cute it was short my only problem again was with the protagonist I feel like this whole month I had issues with the female protagonists but this one specifically, the protagonist was so unmotivated, irresponsible. Um, she did not even think of the consequences, whatever she did. But yeah, uh, I gave it uh, three and a half stars. So there's also Darkness Falls by Kate Turnin. This is the second book in the Immortal Beloved series. And it was so much better than the first one. I really, really enjoyed it. And I felt like, like I didn't want it to end. And I usually don't feel that with books. But this one was really good. I gave it four stars. And then there is While He Was Away by Karen Shrek. I think. Sorry about the last name pronunciation. This book kind of annoyed me in the sense that the synopsis was very misleading. It talked about a girl. Her boyfriend has to go to Iraq because he joined the army. And um, so it's basically about her trying to deal with her boyfriend being away and in danger. And, and like, how is he going to change and how is this going to affect them? However, the book barely had any of that. The book talked about, yes, them together, and then he had to leave, and then her feeling, sending him letters every day, but then it took a turn, and it started, and it became about her obsessing about finding her grandmother, 
like fighting with her mom and being like unbelievably rude to her, which kind of annoyed the hell out of me. And and her weird awkwardness with her um, boyfriend's uh, fallen out friend. I'm, I'm like, why do I care about this? It has nothing to do with the story. It was just so random. And yeah, I gave it two stars, one and a half. And then we've got Flirting in Italian by Lauren Henderson. This book, I need to stop comparing books to Anna and the French Kiss. Like seriously, it is it is not fair to them. It was good for the most part. It was it was funny. I just felt like I didn't know whether it wanted to be sorry. It wanted to be a contemporary or just like some mystery about her finding if she was adopted or and who her real parents are and stuff. But yeah, um, it was fine. It was good in the end. I liked the romance in it and I gave it four stars. But the ending was so weird. Like, unbelievably weird. But yeah. Next book was Cicada. I think I, think I spelled that right. Cicada by Belle Whittington. I had good expectations for this book because I read a lot of reviews and stuff. But it annoyed me a lot because... Um, I don't know, I felt like the problem, like, it took, like, half of the book to understand what was going on. And then the other half was just wanting something to happen. And nothing happened until the end where she realized she's in love with her friend yet again. But yeah, that annoyed me. I gave it three stars. And I am reading right now All These Lives by Sarah Wiles. Yeah, and so far the book is pretty good. Uh, I'm liking the protagonist's voice. She's very independent and has her own thinking and I like that and she doesn't whine and complain and stuff. So it was good. It's good. And uh, yeah, uh, these are all the books and uh, yes, in June I am so going to read so much more. So expect a lot of books and expect way more videos because now I'm going to be active. I have a month and a half before my internship starts. And expect a giveaway because I love all of you subscribers. Seriously, I love you all for just subscribing and caring and watching my re lame random videos. I was going to say lame, random lame. Yes, lame. There you go. And uh, that's it. Enjoy your summer break. I'm going to. And yes, let me know if you guys are going to go watch uh, Snow White on the Huntsman. I'm going to go watch it tomorrow. But let me know if you guys have seen it. Okay, that's it. Bye, guys. Bye.